closet. We have to leave in two minutes. <laughs> so this is gonna be the quickest packing video ever. I am heading downtown on a fun adventure, a little summer staycation. I'm staying at a hotel, then I'm going to be going to a couple of shows, and I've booked myself some activities. And true to form, I waited till the very last second to pack. So I'm gonna show you what I'm bringing based on what I am doing. And we're gonna shove it all in a, some sort of manageable bag because I'm gonna be walking, I'm taking the train, and then I'm walking from the train to the hotel and that's a solid 30 plus minutes. So we have to factor that in. But you know, it's all good. So uh, let's pack and go to Chicago. Okay, so I've organized everything by activity. So uh, today I don't need to change the clothes because of the things I'm doing, but you'll be coming with me. You'll be seeing what I'm doing. Tomorrow there's, and the next day, there's several activities I'd like to do, so I just like to be prepared. Um, I have a kayaking adventure, so I have some kind of swim short material stuff and, a, and just like a hat for coverage. I'm bringing a bathing suit. I don't know if I'm gonna hit the beach tomorrow or not. I just wanted the option. I'm probably gonna wear these, to be honest, my gooders, sunglasses. Um, and then I have an outfit for the second half of the day. I'm gonna wear the shorts that I'm wearing now and this top, and I've got undies, everything. And then I am hoping to do a run in Millennium Park. So I brought a whole running outfit and all my little run accessories. I also have my AirPods just for walking around the city. I prefer them. But for exercise, I like the Beat Power Beat Pros, Power Pro. I don't know what they're called, but they wrap around your ear. I like them better. And then Sunday, I'm hoping to go to brunch. So I'm bringing kind of one of my easy breezy summer dresses and all the appropriate undergarments that go with that. Always bring an extra pair of socks and undies. You just never know. And I have something to sleep in. And then for shoes, I'm gonna be wearing my Birkenstocks. And then I have a pair of running shoes. And these I'm bringing specifically for the kayaking adventure because uh, I thought that they would be the most appropriate. Uh, the running shoes I can wear for walking if that feels more comfortable. Uh, but summer, I like my Birkenstocks. I've got toiletries. This pouch has like sunscreen and you know, my minerals and vitamins, supplements, I don't know, all that jazz. And of course, a water bottle and a book. And it's my backup phone batteries because I'm going to be filming on my phone this weekend for the ease of convenience. So I'm going to pack all this up, probably in a couple of packing cubes, see what bag I can throw everything in that's easy for me to manage. Like I said, I'm walking and we'll get out of here in the next, you know, minute. <laughs> As you can see in just a matter of seconds there, you know, it's a little bit full, but it's not any heavier than my normal carry-on, and this is easy enough for me to carry uh, walking in the city. I think this is the right move. Well, with everything, just giving my chargers one more second to charge. I'm actually going to take an Uber to the train station, so I'm going to call that now, and uh, we'll mosey on out of here. Here we go, to the city. We made it downtown. That was a sweaty train ride. Like, woo, it was steamy. I sat on the upper level because I wanted to have my own seat and that's where the single seats are. By the way, I'm pretty sure this is Daily Plaza. Oh, this is where they have the, um, I'm not mistaken, that's where they have the Chris Kindle market in the Christmas time. You know I am a fan. All right, so it's steamy out. For reference, it's the end of July. This video won't be up in a timely manner, but timely for me. Anyway, it's real steamy today. Um, now I just have the backpack, although I can see how having a real bag means my body would feel probably less sticky. It's all right. We're gonna go 
the hotel. I doubt my room is ready. I'm just gonna drop my bag off with Bell Services and then we'll, I don't know, get something to eat, mosey on. This is where I'm staying, the Blackstone Hotel. It's right on the corner of um, Michigan Avenue and something. I stay though, look at this. It's an old, old building too. Lots of history here. Well, surprise of all surprises, it's not even two and they have my room ready which I am so excited about. Let me put my bag down and do a little tour. Okay, so I'm in room 2117 on the 21st floor. Look at that key. Oh, and my sunglasses just fell off the top of my head. All right, so if we start at the front door, there's the room. I'm guessing this is a closet with a full length mirror. Hi, I'm very sweaty. That was a very sweaty walk. Oh, a nice closet and a robe. This is... Wow, I don't know what I was expecting, but this is nice. Look at this tiny little coffee maker. How cute is it? Oh, look, they give you coffee and tea. Lovely. A little refrigerator. A little place to store things. This is so nice. You know what I'm realizing? I didn't bring my um, yoga mat, but that's okay. We'll make do. We'll make do. Look at this really comfy looking chair. Here's the, oh my gosh, you guys, we got a lake view. What? Look at this. See the sailboats in the water across the street? And uh, there's Soldier Field. That's where we're going tomorrow night. That's why I picked this hotel. It's like right walking distance, like 20 to 25 minutes between the two venues of shows I'm going to. So I don't have to take any transportation. Cool. And here is the really lovely looking bed. That looks comfy. A very funny looking mirror. <laughs> And this is just lovely. I'm really enjoying this. What a lovely room. It's so nice and blessedly cool too. And then the bathroom's very dark. Hold on. There we go. Got your toilet, double vanity, double sink. And a really lovely looking shower. Oh, got some products and things. the wallpaper it's fun I'm just gonna like unpack my like three things that I brought and just cool down a little bit before I head out but yeah I'm this is delightful ideas filled ideas filled I don't know what that says anybody the air okay I thought I'd have time to get lunch but I decidedly do not have time to get lunch so um, it's like a 35 minute walk, according to Google, which I don't know if I believe. Hold on, I'm crossing the street. It's like a 35 minute walk to where the boat goes from. So I gotta believe I'm even gonna make it to the boat. So all right, I have booked myself at one of my favorite, it's actually more of a bar than a restaurant. It's a, a like a Latin inspired bar. And, they just, I think I've filmed videos there before, but I can't remember if it was just for my Patreon community or for everybody. Um, but it's called Mercadito. They have the tastiest margaritas and the most delightful little tacos. We're passing by Millennium Park now. Looks like they're setting up for an event. Oh, isn't it Lollapalooza? Oh my gosh, that's what they're setting up for. Anyway, I'm not here for Lollapalooza, but, uh, I have that booked for after the boat tour. So I'm finally, I've been talking about doing this for like years, but I'm finally doing the Chicago architecture boat tour. There's like half a dozen different ones you could do. I just picked the one that seemed to get good reviews. So I'm heading to that. I'm real excited. I'm like real sweaty and gross. And I was thinking about changing. I was like, you know what? I'm walking a lot today. I'm just gonna get sweaty and gross anyway. So might as well go with it. But, uh, yeah, lots of walking in today, like I said, and um, it's steamy, man. So that's why I got my hair up real high and tight and just don't, I just don't even care. I guess just, we're just gonna be a hot mess, might as well embrace it. And I'm hoping the boat kind of like airs me out. <laughs> anyway, that's the point, I'll flip you around because it's really pretty view of the city right now. Here I'm walking down Michigan Avenue. The pier I'm going to is actually closer to Navy Pier. Some of the boats launch from the Liverwalk. I'm actually hoping to run in 
this park, but I don't know if that's even possible with Lollapalooza this weekend. But just give you a sense. Look at those beautiful trees in the middle. This is nice out right now. If I can't run the park, I'll run the river walk. But I want to wait for it, see which morning's the coolest. So yeah, if you're setting up for that, I have no idea. Okay, well that's where we came from. Here's the Art Institute. It's a frequent a lot in my early 20s. Why we're getting away here. I'm Captain Ken Lee. Also aboard the vessel, we have Captain Joe and Captain Lauren. Here's what we're going to do the tour. Well, I'm going to kind of stand back there because normally on the tour, so there are going to be four great pictures. Here's one of William Wood Barry Johnny. The second thing we're going to get is Andrew Carnegie. You're going to provide us with steel. And the third is somebody you know, you just don't know what he did. His name, name is Elijah Otis. They're going right over there. That's an architect's term called verticality. Going right up. That's going to be Mozart. Even if it's one story, here's the way it's going to be designed. You'll have a base, a shaft, a decorative top. And you'll notice how far it stretches. Now they added on after that. But this is the Montgomery Ward Warehouse in 1909. It's deceptively huge. Just an amazing sight on a day like today. So now look at the first the boat. Oh, 
It's a really great spot. It's an amazing menu. I love the lobster tacos and the brisket. That'll probably be dinner for me. I do love their guacamole. I've had, I've had all three over the years, but I got to eat this meal today. I honestly have not had much of their other food, but everything's so tasty. And they have so many margaritas. If you're a margarita fan, they make a really nice margarita. Look at that. Beautiful. The chips are so good. Mm. So yeah. The brisket. It's so good. I can't even tell you. The lobster. Just divine. Of all the times I've come here, I've never gotten dessert. But I just, I don't know. I have time. So I thought, why not? I'm not hungry. But when does dessert ever have anything to do with that here? So yummy. It's like a little chocolate cake and some ice cream. Look how nice they did the bananas. Some sort of cookies around it. That was the boat I was on earlier. Don't mind the swearing angry man in the back in the background. Oh my gosh. It's the same tour guide. Wow, he's working hard today. Such a good dinner. Some margaritas are really good too. Highly recommend. Um, I'm heading towards the theater now. I think it's just about you know, when they open to go in. I have a pit seat, but it's in a theater. So I don't really know what that means. I don't think I'm sitting. It's fine. As long as there's some modicum of air conditioning, we'll be okay. Uh, but I don't think I've even told you where I'm going to see. I'm going to see Ed Sheeran two nights in a row. Well, the first night. Hold on. Ah, this is what I'm going to see. So the Edge, the first night here is at the Chicago Theater, and it's his Subtractor. So it's his latest album, which is a bit more. I don't know what the right word is. Melancholy. I mean, it's an album he wrote when he was grieving lots of things, to be honest. And uh, so it's a definitely a, like a different feel from the stadium concert, which I'm seeing tomorrow, but I'm really excited. Look at this set! Oh, it's not coming out on video. That's cool. It's so deep yellow. It's so neat! Yay! Chicago. Um, here for like a month and then we moved to Evanston for a couple months before our house was ready for us. But yeah, we did live in the city just very briefly. Look at that lightning. Oh my. I'm glad I'm getting there. It's starting to rain more too. So it rained just a little bit <laughs> on my way back. I am soaked. Let me change and like off. My goodness. All of the things I was wearing, they're all soaked. So I had bought a t-shirt that I put on over my tank top, both soaked. Uh, the other shirt I bought, I draped over my fanny pack to try to keep the contents of that dry, which worked, but that soaked. Shorts, soaked. Underwear, soaked. Everything's just like, that's not the color those shorts are there. A little bit dry on the back there but the rope is coming in handy it's casual i'm just talking to you in a dark and stormy night in hushed tones in a dark and stormy rope <laughs> you guys i had the best time that show was so good i bought those tickets a long time ago and i really like didn't think too much about the tickets i didn't really remember because I bought the two shows back to back. I knew so my Soldier Field ticket, 
I don't even know where that is. I, it's not <laughs> gonna be like this. It was in the third row. It was like 15 feet from Ed Sheeran. It was the best seat. It was the best show. So he kind of split it in half. The first half he had the full band. I, tr I, ju I just tried to be respectful. So I took just a few clips. Um, he had strings on the, le on the left and then um, electric guitar, bass. And I don't know what the guy in the middle was playing, like some, another guitar and then drums and then the guy on the keyboard and then Ed Sheeran. Now Ed Sheeran, you know, he talked through a lot of his sets. Like it was a very um, story driven show, which was awesome. And he said that this is the first time in his 18 year uh, musical career that he's performing with a band. And so that was for the first half of the show where he did the entire Subtract album, which is the one I was telling you about his latest release. That's, you know, a bit more somber and not as, as he, in his own words, not as well suited for the like stadium concerts. Um, so he played the whole album in order. And between every song, he shared the story behind the song. And it was just, it was like, I mean, it's a big theater, but it felt so intimate and just so lovely. And then halfway through the show, the band says goodbye and he starts playing some of his like, you know, classic hits for us and in the way that he's always done it using the loop pedal where he basically builds a song on the stage himself you know making all of the musical components and then <clears throat> excuse me using this like loop belt i think that, loop pedal loop pedal to um put it bring it all together and it was just so neat to be able to see it that close i know that's what he does in a stadium show i'm gonna be way farther away um, so neat to see it that close. And then at the end, he played three songs from his next album that he hasn't shared anywhere yet. And he made us all promise not to film and all that. And everyone was very respectful because he wants to be the one to release his songs first, you know, I just totally get it. That was so special. And I'm really excited for this album whenever it comes out. Um, I'm very excited for it. Uh, so it was just, it was an incredible show. He played, he was on stage for two and a half hours, which is incredible considering he sang basically constantly and talked constantly. So that was, I mean, the man went through like three bottles of wine. <laughs> I was just like right there. so close. It was amazing. I've been a huge fan forever. And last year I was actually... Like I had been wanting to see him in concert forever, but he hadn't been back to the States in a long time. And, and so last year I was like, well, maybe he's not coming back to the States for a while. So um, I was looking actually at flying out to somewhere in Europe or England or you know what, somewhere else to see him play. And it's just like the timing of the concerts never worked out. And it's also really expensive to fly overseas just to see a concert. I mean, obviously I would do other things too, but. It just didn't work out. I was like, well, I'll wait another year and see if he announces an American tour. Well, not only did he announce an American tour, but he dropped his latest album and he announced this smaller venue tour in conjunction with it. And I was like, you know what? It just happened to line up when I would be home and not traveling and uh, have the time and space to come. And I was like, this is meant to be. So uh, after I showed you that last clip of the lightning, not two seconds later, it started like deluge downpour. And I was still 15 minutes away from the hotel. And it's just like, what can you do at that point? I was already like sopping wet within a second. So waiting it out would have been futile because it's still downpouring. It's been like an hour. Then I got all the way, I finally get to the hotel. I'm so excited and my all the way up to the 21st floor and my room key doesn't work. I think it got wet and got like malfunctioned or something. I don't even know. So I had to go back down to the lobby. The guy was very nice at the front desk and he cut me a new key and, and I got in at long last and now I'm all cozy and I'm ready for bed. But uh, what an amazing day. I'm just, I'm so grateful that this all worked out like this and that I could come do this. And I, I hope you enjoyed 
whatever bits I did grab for you. Um, but if Ed Sheeran comes to your town, and if you're even half of a fan, please go to his um, smaller venue concert. I mean, I'm sure the stadium show is gonna be great. I'm really excited about it, but that was just so special. That was so special. At the end, he cut all the audio equipment and just sang without speakers, microphones, anything. His last, his like farewell song. And that, it was just magical. It was, it was amazing. Anyway, you guys, I'm tired and ready to get in bed. But tomorrow's a full fun day. We're gonna have some fun. I think the rain's gonna get the rain out of its system overnight, hopefully. And uh, we'll roll on tomorrow. I'm very happy to be out of the storm though, because the lightning's like really picking up too. That's less good to be stuck out in lightning. So rain, you know, isn't probably gonna hurt you too much, but lightning, that can do a number on you. So happy to be inside. Oh, what a good day. It's such a good show. I'll show you all the little bits and bobs I bought tomorrow, because I'm sure I'm gonna buy more. I'm, I like merch. I like supporting the artists and the venues and the, all of the merchandise folks in that way too. It's a whole separate business too that I learned actually when I was on a kayaking tour in Austin, the person I was paired with on the kayak works in the merchandise for touring industry and it's like a whole separate business. I had no idea, it's fascinating. Anyway, I digress, I'm going to bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. I slept so long, it's like 9.30. I woke up about a half an hour ago and got myself ready and I'm gonna head out. So the kayaking thing doesn't start till 11. They want you there 15 minutes early and I think I need to like rent a locker or something or other. So I'm gonna make sure I'm there a little bit early. Uh, but I want, it's a beautiful day. It's dropped 20 degrees since yesterday and it looks really nice and sunny. So I want to just kind of leisurely stroll over to the river walk and uh, maybe get some breakfast at one of my favorite places, Goddess and the Baker. And I think there's a couple on the way over there. I need to look at the map. But I'll show you my fit. <laughs> Cause that's interesting. Ta -da! So I am wearing a bathing suit. They suggested it. Also, it's possible I might go to the beach after. I don't want like a towel or anything. I don't know. We'll see what, how the day, how, where the wind blows me, I should say. But I'm all lathered up in sunscreen. I got my bathing suit on. These are like bathing suit, like quick dry shorts. They're not really a bathing suit. Uh, Cause kayak, you're gonna get wet. And I got my little Tiva sandals on and hot. But yeah, feeling good, ready to have a fun day. Hi guys, what a difference a day makes. It is absolutely stunning out today. It's so pretty and feels so, so different from yesterday. Oh, we are, we lucked out. We got a beauty of a day. Here it is, there's a lot of people here. Let's see what the weight is like. Here's a little bit of the scene. I haven't actually been to this location yet, so it's crazy busy. Look at this, not bad. The wait was too long for actual breakfast, but nothing looks good. Really Ooh, doggy. Let's see what the dog's I got an oat milk Nutella latte, which is good. Be mild on the Nutella, but that's all right. <laughs> and I'm walking over to the river now, and I'm gonna eat my muffin over there. I think actually the timing's working out perfectly. It is such a pretty day.
side of the river wall, just a couple feet above the water, there's all these wooden boards, all these planks there. We're gonna paddle up next to those. Exactly what we should be doing right now. We're just gonna kind of wait for, we'll float in this area, we'll wait. I don't know how much money it's on with this, I have to kayak. It's a nice day. This is bridges, sidewalks, street signs, just kind of randomly placed. So now whenever you see this symbol, you know that this is considered the birthday question. I'm not sure what that spiral represents going to the suburbs. So he wanted to make it as easy as possible for people living in the city uh, to kind of experience the most beautiful office building in the entire world. The Chicago Tribune, they chose this design uh, mixed with towards the bottom beach. Well, that was really, really fun. So it was also a tour at the same time. Well, I did hear some repeat information from the architectural boat tour I did yesterday. A lot of different information too, so less architecture and more historical Chicago, so that was really interesting. We spent a solid two, almost a full two hours, something like an hour and like 45 minutes on the water. Apparently we paddled, I think you said two and a half miles? We were pretty much paddling the whole time. It was really fun. Um, I'm hungry now. It's like one o'clock. And uh, there's this new taco place right here. I remember they were building it last time. Okay, down this way. And I think you get a discount having had done the uh, tour. So I'm gonna go check that out. So I ordered a shrimp and a chicken taco, and they gave me the thighs for fun. I don't know, that was nice. I'm hungry, so it works. Look at this nice seat I got too. Well, that was really yummy. Highly recommend. Buy that very nice stuff and be the prize for free because two tacos would not have been enough. But uh, really, really yummy. I just sat here on the river walk just for a second. Uh, not pictured. I did have an aqua fresca. Strawberry lime. It was really good. I drank one. one but um, it's 1 30. It's about half an hour walk back to the hotel. And I think I've just. I think I need a little indoor time because I'm going to be outside for the rest of the evening with the Ed Sheeran concert. So I'm going to take this scenic route back, walking along the lake and the harbors. The Jusabal Harbor, I think, is the one. Um, and uh, by the time I get back, I'll just kind of relax and maybe read my books a little bit. And, you know, that kind of stuff. It's a really beautiful day though, and I feel feeling very relaxed and happy. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is the DuSable Harbor, uh, Navy Pier, see the Ferris wheel, just over there, not too far from here, probably a 15 mile walk. Uh, harbor, uh, city, and the river, it goes just over there. I just stopped at this little place on the river walk, and I'm getting some mint chocolate chip gelato to have on our nice walk along the harbor. No, you guys, you gotta live, right? You just, you gotta live. Down there, maybe you can see that little drum right there, that's Museum Campus, that's the Adler Planetarium. Also, and also, I haven't been there in years. I think I'm taking the kids there, even when the weather gets crummier. Uh, but, man, you guys, what I just, the, the difference between yesterday and today is, mind-blowing it's breezy it's not nearly as humid it's i haven't looked at the temperature lately but it's at least 10 degrees below it's at the heat of the day right now and it's just beautiful i'm happy i'm listening to a podcast and i'm eating my gelato and i'm just scrolling around and it doesn't get much better anyway where i'm going tonight <clears throat> which actually you can see from my hotel room is back that way and that's soldier field so we're gonna go on that adventure in a little bit i actually have zero zero clue but I believe, just from some signs that I've seen, that Lollapalooza starts. Ooh, that's a fancy dress. Next week. So right now what they're doing, and what you can see behind me, is they're setting up the infrastructure for it. Okay, here's the, um, I think this is called Buckingham. Um, I honestly can't remember. But, uh, you know, I should probably look that up. Yeah, all these little like white tents and beautiful structures. Those aren't usually here. Oh, we're actually pretty close. I'm staying just down over there. Uh, so, not too far. It's been a really nice walk. Well, that was a really refreshing rest. I'm reading this really interesting novel. I'll try to remember to show it. Maybe tomorrow. Anyway, 
I changed. My shorts are mostly dry, but they're still slightly damp around the waistband. <laughs> I've just been air drying my clothes, you know. My um, Birkenstocks are definitely still wet, but co concert outfit, hair up. I'm just bringing sunglasses. Soldier Field has a pretty strict bag policy. They don't allow fa fanny packs. At least that's what they say on the road. I'm just not risking bringing it. And I figured all I really want is my phone. And then I have just um, in my pocket close to me, uh, my ID and a credit card and uh, my room key and a little cash. And I think I'll be fine. I am gonna wear my sunglasses and I just reapplied sunscreen because Soldier Field is an outdoor stadium and it's still gonna be sunny for a few more hours. So thought, why not? I'm gonna want those things, but yeah. Going real light, no bag. It's very liberating. So it's about, like I said, about a 20 minute walk, give or take. Uh, doors open at 4.30. It's about 4.15 now. And I don't think even the pre-show starts till like 6 or 6.30. I'm not even sure what the situation is with that. But um, I've never been there for a concert. At least I can't remember. That might have been a really long time ago. Um, but I don't think so. And I just want time to like stand in the merchandise line and get something to drink. And I don't know if I'm going to want something to eat or not. I'm still really full from that lunch. So... Yeah, I'm just gonna mosey on over. It's just like, I really like not stressing about time. So giving myself ample time to just go and take everything in, you know, it's kind of my speed. All right, here we go. Look how pretty this garden is. It's called the Formal Gardens, just across the street from the hotel. I think this is still an extension of Grant Park, but don't quote me on that. Look at the fountain. It's lovely here. Michigan Avenue, right there. Soldier Field. Just walking over the tracks now. Lots of folks heading the same way. When you're walking here, they have all these very helpful signs, which is helpful. But also, there's a mass of people in that way, so it's hard to miss it. There's the field museum. Looks like they're doing some exterior work.
on the way back. We should walk around for 45 minutes. I found one place that has candy and fruit. Acceptable to use the top of trash cans if you're not in Epcot. I asked one of the staff um, when the show was supposed to start because I thought it started at 6, like the opener or whatever. He said not till 8. <laughs> 6 and 2 hours. I don't want to sit in this thing. So I'm going to go find a place to sit down and eat my food and then sleep like a big person. I'm very excited about that. I probably got me there. That was pretty exciting. There's an opener and since she came out. Okay, a lot of people so on when Ed Sheeran was on stage he let us know that the um, staff at Soldiers Field had let him know that he that night tonight holds the records for most tickets sold at Soldier Field most people 73,000 people in its history so that was pretty cool and you can you know like when you're sitting in the scene you see all the like people and we're like yeah it's a lot of people I'm telling you it's not until was walking, trying, shuffling 
very slowly moving with 73,000 people out, out of the venue that it felt like so many people. But a uh, really nice night, like I said, the weather could not have been more perfect. The walk home was, I mean, uh, once we got out of the like really stuffy claustrophobic part of like the squishy people, um, it was like a really pleasant walk, pretty um, different from last night's deluge. Uh, and this, this hotel ended up being the perfect location for this weekend because Anywhere I wanted to go, all the activities and shows that I, you know, attended and stuff, didn't take more than 30, 35 minutes each way, like in a way, right? And that was like kind of what felt comfortable to me to walk in hot Chicago weather, more or less comfortable, we'll put comfortable in quotation marks for yesterday because that was a bit sticky. And then the rain. But yeah, perfect place to stay. Took about, even with all the like, crowding and slow moving getting out of the um stadium still it's like a usually like a 20 minute walk maybe it took 25 so not that much longer and it's just so nice to be back and not be dealing with traffic or taxis or trains you should have seen the line for the buses like <laughs> it's just nice to walk when you can um but oh my gosh what an amazing show i am so delighted that i got to see the big concert tonight and the small venue concert last night because the juxtaposition of both like with the same artist and the artist that I'm such a big fan of I mean that was just I feel like I had my own mini festival um and it was just like instead of camping like at the gorge I am definitely living the the luxury the luxurious this isn't camping at all I'm in a beautiful hotel but um yeah, it's just, it's, it's been so fun. And I'm just, I really am so delighted that I got to see him perform twice. And I've never seen him perform before. So, and Lord knows when I'll see him. I don't know when he'll come do an American tour again, or if I, I don't know where the wind will blow me, but uh, I know he has more music coming out because he let us know at the small venue last night. So I'm sure there will be more tours eventually, but I'm just so grateful that I could do this. I am so, like my cup is so full. I feel so happy. And I just want, again, like, I feel like I say this every time, especially when I'm filming like a concert video. If there's some, something you want to go to, a show, a museum, a movie, a concert, whatever it is, and you feel self-conscious about doing it on your own, but you don't, either have somebody you want to go with or you know it's just whatever whatever the reasoning is that the only way for you to go would be to go solo or the best way to go would be to go solo don't hesitate like really think like just book the ticket or buy you know whatever like just do it uh seriously especially when there's a lot of people around and even when there's not a lot of people around absolutely nobody gives a flying you know what that you're there solo i talk to so many people at these sorts of events I, you know i strike up conversations like it's just i feel so comfortable now um this sort of thing would have given me a lot of anxiety but i've been and it has in, in years past but i've been kind of doing it more and getting used to it i remember even last year at the gorge like i was really nervous the first day and then i felt right at home and it felt you know, very comfortable. So just, you know, you gotta push yourself to take that first step and um, then you'll see like, oh, I can actually have a really, really good time by myself. And in my humble opinion, it's actually quite liberating to go to do something like this by yourself because you can set your own pace. I could leave when I want. I could go to the bathroom when I want. I could get whatever food I wanted. I could go, I walked around the venue for like two hours because I didn't want to sit. And I don't really know that many people would want to walk around that venue with me for two hours. Like that's my personality. Like I'm not going to go sit still for two hours before the concert. And it was also like very sunny in the seats and stuff. So that was sort of strategic to stay in the shade, but also just to keep moving and because I didn't have to, you know, accommodate for anybody else. Anyway, I'm just trying to, it's so fun to do things with people and I don't want to diminish that at all, but I just want to encourage, I know there's going to be at least 
a handful of you out there watching who are like, oh, I'd really love to do that, but I just don't feel brave enough. Uh, you're braver than you give yourself credit for. You just have to take the first step. And worst case scenario, you leave. You don't feel comfortable. You're whatever, you just go. At least you tried, right? But you just don't know if you don't try. All right, friends. I'm so happy I have these gummy bears because I'm gonna have a little snack. I brought back a whole bottle of $7 water. Um, so I'm gonna have a little snack and go to bed. I was gonna run in the morning, but I don't know. My legs are pretty beat actually from all this walking. I don't know why they're so tired. And all the, the park closure and everything. I don't know if the running's gonna happen, but brunch will happen. So there's that. All right, I'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good morning. It's just 8.30. I slept till eight, which was really nice. Blackout curtains work great right here. And I, did, you know, I know I talked last night about not really sure if I was gonna run. I decided just to go out and maybe just like walk a lot and maybe put a few just casual running intervals in. The parks are just a mess because they're setting up for Lollapalooza though. So I think I'm gonna go back in the direction that I took to go to Soldier Field last night to Museum Campus and I might try to make my way over to Northerly Island if it's open. If not, I'll just run the Lakefront Trail because I know that's open. Um, but yeah, you know, since I've been showing you my fit all week, I'll keep showing you. You know, I got a rep run Disney, love the Lululemon run hats, my gooders. I get a lot of compliments on these glasses, you guys. The people like these, this color lens, the people. Uh, Crown Athletic Skort. It's got the shorts built in with the pockets, the phone, other stuff. And then the best running shoes I've had to date, which are the Ultra Via Olympus. And yeah, I'm just bringing my phone, my headphones, and my information. Always carry identification on you when you're running. Okay. So yeah, that's the plan. I'm gonna go out now, just maybe for like about an hour-ish, and then come back, take a shower at long last. I really need one, like a real shower, not a rain shower. And uh, I have breakfast. I have brunch downstairs at the restaurant here, which I've gone to many a time. It's been a few years, but of course I'll be with me. Let's, uh, let's go outside. It's a beautiful morning. I feel like I've shown the lobby yet because there's always been a lot of people in it. It's really pretty. This is a, actually a very um, old, old building. My, I know my grandpa stayed here so many, many, many years ago, but it's really pretty. That's where we're going for brunch up there. But yeah, look at the detail and everything. It's just gorgeous. And I like the way they've decorated. Let's go for a run. Hey, we've got a nice view. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful out today. That's why I'm on the lakefront trail now. There's Navy Pier City. We came from over there. It's gorgeous. It's a muggy day though. That's um, that's a planetarium. No, that's a shed. It's a shed aquarium. So this is Burnham Harbor. There's the big long silver thing in Soldier Field. Concerts here, I've yet to come to one, just timing. Oh, there's some ducks. Uh, I was hoping this trail would be all the way open, but it's not. So, it says not to do it, so I'm not going to. But yeah, this goes for quite a while. So we live here in the middle of a trail. <laughs> and Chicago's right there. But uh, that's okay. Went as far as it felt safe. It's the most important thing to do. And now I'm gonna go back a different way. There is a little beach here. I did not know this. This is my first time really coming this far onto North Island. Ooh, we're gonna pause the run and go this way. because it's got like fresh potted flowers. Maybe it's just not open yet. It's still pretty early-ish. Gotta remember this. It's nice 
Let's come back. I wonder how crowded it gets. It's a nice little beach though. Okay, back to the room. Yeah, this view. This, you can walk right along here. Did you know that? Come to Chicago. Come when it's nice weather. Come when it's not nice weather. Well, don't be out here when it's really not nice weather, but it's a nice little beach. Okay, so shed, field, Adler. So this is the museum campus, which connects to Northerly Island. We just went around. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty out. Okay, friends, we did just about four miles. I walked a lot. I actually didn't expect to even go as fast as that, so that's good. I brought us right back to the last one. I realized I haven't shown from the outside. That's it. That's it. I'm gonna go take a shower, pack up, and get some yummy brunch. I'm considerably cleaner now, which is nice. I wanted to show you my merch because I didn't get to show you. So uh, I bought two shirts from each show, which come to think of it, I pretty much buy two shirts from every show I go to. Most, I would say like 80% of the shows, like the concerts I go to, I buy two shirts. And you know what? It's fine. It's fine. It's a memory. It's something I like to do. Uh, Probably gonna have to whittle them down at some point, but right now I'm enjoying it. So from the Subtract concert, I also got these little bracelets. I just thought they were so fun. So they say a Subtract on one and Ed Sheeran on the other. Just it was like a fun little thing to wear and I wore it to the concert last night too. And then I got two shirts, like I said. I got this one. Uh, the, I think it's like the dancing with my eyes closed kind of vibe with the subtract on it. It has nothing on the back. I just really like this color. And I wore it while at the concert. That's another thing I do. I tend to put the put the shirt on at the concert. And then I wanted um, like the actual concert one. They didn't have like a tour shirt necessarily. Uh, so that was like the closest to a tour shirt I got. So there's that. And then at um, the stadium show, Soldier Field, you saw this because I wore it. I really like this shirt. It's a pastel tie-dye, really cute, um, with the uh, mathematics tour symbol on the back. But I really wanted this shirt that said um, Chicago Soldier Field on it. I actually went back to buy it because I saw other people wearing it. Um, so it has that same um, mathematics tour logo on the front, really cool kind of color grading. And then look, Chicago, Illinois, Soldier Field, and it says the date and everything. So that's the merch I bought. And then I also said I'd show you what book I was reading. I actually sat in this very chair yesterday for uh, like an hour or so and read, and this is like a really nice reading chair. <laughs> I think that's what it's designed for. And a really nice reading spot by the window. Anyway, I'm reading this novel, A Place at the Table, by Susan Rebecca White. I will bring this to brunch with me, which will be lovely. I like bringing books when I'm dining solo. Sometimes I don't, you know, it's just whatever I feel like, or if I'm carrying, like if I have the ability to carry a book, I will also just sit and enjoy my meal. I don't feel the need to like be engaged in something. It's just sometimes really, really nice to read a book. And I also think it's a nice, tip for people who are nervous about dining solo is bring a book. I think it's a little bit, um, I don't know, you can look at your phone or do whatever, but I like bringing a book because it just makes it more of like a peaceful activity. Whereas anytime I'm looking at my phone, it's ultimately not a peaceful activity. <laughs> do you know, even if you think it is, it's, it's not. Uh, but, you know, it's to each their own. But uh, I didn't bring this to bench today. This is part of the Pantsu Politics Book Club. Uh, for which I am participating and enjoying thoroughly this summer. So yeah, that's that. And speaking of brunch, um, my reservation isn't for like 25 minutes, but I'm real hungry. So I might go down and see if they can seat me early. Uh, I'm just gonna pop everything in my bag, but I'm gonna leave my bag up here so I don't have to lug it down. Um, just so I'm ready to go and I don't have to feel rushed at brunch or anything. Um, my train is at 12.30, so I need to be out the door walking no later than 12, preferably 5 to 12, so I have a little wiggle room to find the platform and all that um, at Union Station. And it's about a 25 minute walk, so I wanna give myself some time. All right, let's go eat some food. So the restaurant we're going to is Mercat, is it Mercat La Plage? 
the, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's a tapas restaurant. It's been here forever. It changed a little bit, I want to say about 10 years ago. I don't know if they got new chef or new management or whatever. It's still really good. Uh, and they do a nice brunch. So let's go eat something. I'm ready to eat something. Okay. My bag's all packed up, everything fit in. I've got my little fanny pack ready to go for when I get back from brunch because I'm not bringing that all down with me. Because I've shown you every outfit so far this, this go around. Um, I really love this dress. It's actually, I think it's marketed as like a beach dress slash cover up, but I use it as an all around summer sundress. And it's a high to low, obviously. I've got my Burks on. It's just real comfortable. It's made of like, it feels like tent, like parachute material. My hair is still a little wet. But yeah, I'm just bringing my book and my room key and my credit card. And let's go have some brunch. Here's the brunch menu. That looks really good. Okay, so I wonder how big the things are. Let me just see fun. I had such a nice weekend. Really, really, really fun. And uh, I was so happy to be able to share it with you. I hope you enjoyed coming along and I'll see you for the next adventure. Take care, guys. Bye.